Many of us are familiar with the Western 12 note scale that we find on a piano. We have C, right through to B, and we might assume that's all the notes we have available to us. But what about the space between these notes? Microtonality is the use of microtones, intervals smaller than a semitone. Microtonal tunings have been used for centuries, primarily in non-Western cultures, and while I don't pretend to be an expert on microtonality, I'm fascinated by exploring beyond the seemingly narrow constraints of the 12-note scale. In this video, I'm going to share my process of exploring these spaces between notes, and a track I've created in Ableton with this concept in mind. A cymbal may seem like a strange place to begin, but having a drummer as a partner means that we have a lot of cymbals lying around at home. Also lying around at home was the bow of my old violin, which now lives on as a tool for experimenting with sound. The majority of cymbals are of indefinite pitch, which makes them an intriguing source of sound, especially where microtonality is concerned. I decided to record bowing the cymbal, I had no idea what I'd end up with, except perhaps some eerie and possibly horrifying sounds. I was pleasantly surprised to find something as melodic and nuanced as this. I instantly knew I wanted to make this into a looping phrase, so I trimmed it down and tried to match the BPM. Out of curiosity, I tried to find the notes in the phrase on the piano, but unsurprisingly noticed that the piano felt too sharp. I tried increasing the sample by about 12 cents. One cent equals a hundredth of a semitone. The melodic movement, however, didn't align throughout the phrase, so rather than trying to make it fit neatly within a 12 note western scale, I decided to embrace the pitching of the cymbal as it was, and to choose other instruments that would allow me to be more flexible with pitch. Taking the cue from a sample that doesn't fit within familiar parameters can be an interesting way to drive a track, as it encourages a more instinctive approach around what is needed rather than making assumptions on what has been done before. I perhaps would have gravitated towards one of many software instruments to continue building upon this track, but by letting the cymbal sample guide me, I decided to turn to my Moog Safati for the bass and melody as it has a fine tune function that allowed me to decrease the pitch to match the cymbal sample. I use the pitch wheel at the end of phrases to mirror the malleability of the cymbal's pitch. By bending these sustained notes, it felt like the synth was living and breathing, much like the human voice with its nuances and imperfections. The second synth line dances around the first, opening up and evolving the track. I ran these through a reverb to create a longer tail continuing to explore the space between notes. This track is made up from the cymbal, the moog and percussion, which for me feels like exploring sparse yet storied new worlds. Mm -hmm. 